Well, isn't this an unusual collection of things? The time has come to test the liquid rubber on waterproofing a cardboard box. I saw this in a demonstration. Not entirely sure I believe it. But if this works, then I am absolutely, completely, 150% sold on whether or not I'll be using this in my systems. So far I'd say I'm at about 98. But, so, took my duct tape, did some basic sealing around the seams. It's already coming up a little bit on me, but I'll push that down again. And made sure that I don't have any gaping holes in the corners of this box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat this with three layers to waterproof it for standing water. And uh, we'll just see how long a cardboard box coated with liquid rubber can hold water for. I'm pretty excited because I think this is going to work for a long time. Well, might as well get to painting. So I want to make sure this is as free of debris as possible. And like I said, I'm going to push down my duct tape. And I guess it's time to get started. Decided to put gloves on, even though it's not toxic. I just figure it's easier to have a layer I can remove when it comes time to play with the camera. Got a couple of different brush styles that I'm going to try here. A little curious. I'll start with the foam one first. That does apply quite nicely with this little foam brush. happy with how well that's applying. I might not even try that other brush. We'll see when it comes time to do the corners. Alright, well I'll speed this up and we'll see how it looks when uh, I get to that point. Okay, so my battery's dying, as always, so I was unable to uh, just fast forward to this point. But basically, I made sure I got plenty of it in the corners, did my best to make sure there was no exposed cardboard in there. One thing I did notice is that it seems to be having some difficulty uh, adhering to the duct tape, but this is where multiple layers is going to come in really handy. I still have uh, hardly even dented that pail of liquid rubber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry a little bit and I'm going to uh, touch up over the duct tape a little bit more and uh, come back to it tomorrow, maybe the next day, do the second and then the third layer. After that we'll throw some water in it and just see how well it works. So here's that box after its second coat is dried. I'm looking at it and I can kind of tell right away I should not have used duct tape to seal those seams. Probably should have just glued them down or whatever. But that's the joy of an experiment. You should learn from it. Alright, one more coat and theoretically this is waterproof. Alright, so that's the third coat on. Nicely dried. It's still a little bit tacky in a couple of places. So I'm not going to fill it up yet. 
But here we have, in theory, a cardboard box. I think we got chicken breasts in this one from the grocery store. Where I duct taped down the edges, which I don't recommend. And then put three fairly reasonable coats of liquid rubber on the interior to waterproof it. In theory, this should work. Like I just said though, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit longer, a day or two. Make sure it's had every opportunity to cure properly. And then uh, I'm going to fill this up and we'll just watch and see how well it does. But that will be a whole new video. Alright, making a waterproof cardboard box with liquid rubber. Thanks for checking it out. I'm pretty excited. Seems really silly. And yet, I'm pretty excited. Alright. Have yourselves a fantastic day.